All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this Dell Inspiron Model 3668. All right, so you're gonna need a PH2 or JS2 screwdriver, and we're gonna remove the two screws here on the back. So there's one here and one here, all right? So it's hard to show this in proper angles because this thing is so big. I mean, it's not that big of a computer, but for my work area, to kind of show it in a recording, it's pretty big. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and remove these two screws. Once you remove those two screws, there's this handle here. So you're gonna use that and pull this. Um, so I kind of use my knuckles to push on the case while I pull on it, just like that. A lot of times you might have to pull on this side as well, because it's kind of stuck. So let's see, how can I pull this? So I'm gonna do that. Let's see, it's kind of difficult to remove this. You might have to use another arm or something and slide it just like that. There we go. All right, once you do that, you can pull the cover up. Okay, and then we're going to spin this around. What we're going to do is we're going to remove this front piece here. You kind of want to have it like hanging off your desk um, because if you have it like this and you pull this, it's kind of just going to hit the frame. So, but basically you pull this. I'm going to lift it up here, but normally you would just hang this off your desk and then you can swing this forward and you can take this out. All right, so the cover comes out just like that. All right, I'm going to drop that. Okay, here we go. So you got that out. Okay, so next we're gonna take out the hard drive. So the hard drive is held in place with one screw here. So we're gonna take that screw out, okay. I'm not gonna do a complete, complete disassembly. This one just needed a uh, hard drive upgrade. Um, once you remove that, uh, you can pull the hard drive out, but we're gonna first disconnect these cables. So these are the SATA hard drive cables. So there's the power and then this is the data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this so that the hard drive doesn't come out. You could actually leave that screw in to make this easier. And then just kind of pull this connector out. And then grab the data cable here and pull that back as well. Once you get both those connectors out, you can use these two metal tabs here to pull the hard drive back. Just like this. And then you can move this out. Right? So this is a 3.5 inch SATA hard drive. Um, but we're changing it to an SSD. I actually cloned the hard drive in advance, so we're gonna um, swap it out for this drive. Um, all right, so let's actually move this aside for now, and we're going to take the hard drive out. So there's four screws holding this in place. Of course, there's no proper um, uh, screw holes for this, for the two and a half inch SATA hard drive on here. So if you want, you can get like a bracket, a mounting bracket that converts the two and a half inch SATA drive um, to have the mounting holes of the three and a half inch SATA drive. But uh, since it's an SSD, you don't really need to worry. It's not really moving around. It's, a, it's also a desktop. So yeah, all right, I need to get that screw that I just dropped. Okay, so anyways, remove all four screws. And then after you do that, you can actually just drop the hard drive out of here. So when you put this, this has little um, metal pins that stick out that go into these screw holes. But since we're putting a different drive, we don't need to worry about that. So I'll set that aside. Let me go get that screw and I'll be back. All right, so I've got the screw. Set that over there. Okay, so again, this bracket just goes in there. But uh, this hard drive, of course, isn't going to fit right. Um, if you want, you can actually line it up with one and then just put one screw in there so that you have the screw or have the hard drive sitting there. All right, so I have some spare screws. The SSDs use different size screws. So we're just gonna find a screw that will fit here. Okay, any of these should work. Um, I don't think I have one that uses the same type of um, screwdriver for desktop hard drive so we're just gonna get a random one I think this part's silver so let's go ahead and use a silver one okay and might have to use a longer one so that's probably too long you can try it oh that's a way different type of screwdriver screw so okay I guess we'll just get a regular um, 
SSD kind of screw or two and a half inch hard drive screw. I'm gonna have to use a smaller PH1 or JS1 screwdriver for this. All right, and we're just gonna line up this hard drive here, or SSD, and we'll get the screw in there. Okay, so you can tighten this up, and you can have this hard drive just kind of hanging on there with one screw, just like that. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to go back to the computer. Let's see if there's any other simple stuff I can open up and show you guys. Okay, let me switch back to the PH2 or JS2 screwdriver. Alright, so what you want to do now, you can actually grab this and pull this up. Just like that. So here you can see the um, CD drive. It's like what they use in laptops. Okay. Um, let me see, how would you take this out? It looks like for this to come out, you'd have to probably slide it forward. And there's a screw here. I'm not gonna take it out, but uh, I kinda just wanna show here what there is. This bracket looks like it would, when you take it out, it would slide forward, yeah. But yeah, I'm not gonna take that out. All right, so you got the two SATA connectors here. This uses a special power supply. Um, there's four or three screws on this side holding that power supply in place and then it looks like you can just slide it out there's a little bracket here so if you want to take out the power supply um, you do have to push this there's the blue little tab here this metal tab you can actually it's spring-loaded so you can actually push this down so if you remove the power supply you would push that and pull that out um, the power supply has this connector here and then this connector as well as um, or actually these power connectors go to the motherboard here So the SATA connector power is all it comes from the motherboard and then it comes out here So the power supply um, gets all puts all its power through just two connectors here um, And these connectors they have little spring-loaded kind of clips just like pretty much every other motherboard connector you squeeze these little clips as you pull them out and then the RAM just like every other computer there's these little tabs you pull that back pull this one back all right oh I should probably zoom in a bit I can't really move this computer around too much on my desk because it'll knock everything over but uh there's these two tabs okay pull that one and pull the other one all right there you go once you pull both tabs all the way out you'll see the RAM kind of pops up a little bit and then you can pull it out so the type of RAM here is PC4 2400T. Um, just make sure you get this right desktop type of RAM. And then once this side's a little bit shorter than this side, so make sure you put it back the right way. But yeah, PC4 2400T, you can get any size sticks you want. These are four gig sticks, it looks like. Actually, I think one is an uh, eight gig and one's a four gig, yeah. So keep that in mind. If you want, you can switch the four to be another eight gig if you want more performance. And then you can have 16 gigs total. You can probably even find two 16 gig sticks, but most people don't need that much RAM. All right, processors underneath the heatsink fan here. And this kind of connector, you can just pull it straight up, just like same thing with this other fan connector. And I think this jumper's for like a CMOS BIOS reset. I don't know if it so it doesn't really say on there, so I'm not going to mess with that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. There's also the power button switch. It's removable here. It's on this little cable. Let's see, on this cable here. Okay. Um, and that one you can kind of just pull straight up as well. So there's not much else to show in here. There's a wireless card if you're kind of wondering. Um, and then this wireless card you can take out. There's one screw. It pops up slightly at an angle and you can pull it out. If you want to see how to remove those, I have lots of videos of this on my um, on my laptop repairs. Got the BIOS or CMOS battery here. There's also a slot here if you wanted to put a bigger graphics card, but make sure it's going to fit because it's a pretty small tower. And then you got other PCIe card slots here. Um, and then you have to kind of lift this up and pull that back so that you can put the um, that mounting bracket. All right. Close that back. Uh, there's also these little metal plates here. So if you do expand it, you have to like pop these out. So these you can kind of just push them through and you have to bend the metal back and forth and eventually you can just break them off. 
All right, it looks like there's another SATA power connector here. I don't know if the board can actually support all of that, um, but it looks like there's this smaller hard drive mounting area for those. So I guess if you have SSDs um, or smaller hard drives, it looks like they go into this mounting bracket area, but we don't have the bracket for this, so we're just gonna make do with the three and a half inch SATA uh, brackets. All right, so let's go ahead and slide the SSD back into the three and a half inch SATA slot. So it goes back, you have to make sure these little hangers go into these slots, okay? So that way you can actually latch them into place. All right, so we're gonna grab this. Make sure that lines up here, so hopefully you can see that. Let me kind of tilt that down a little bit, make that easier to see. Okay, and then get that all lined up. Might be a little tricky because the hard drive's not in there to keep the spacing as good. All right, so you kind of have to slide that. There we go. And push that into place. All right, so now I'm going to put that down. We're going to take this screw and put that into there to hold that bracket so it doesn't come back out. All right, let's go ahead and plug back in the SATA power connector. Just like, hopefully you can see that. So just like this. And the data cable, just like that. Okay. All right, so we got it all mounted. It's holding itself into place. Put this back, latch it all the way down. Okay. Let's zoom back out. I can look at all the junk all over my desk again. Whoops, too much. Okay, and then we're gonna put the plastic uh, front cover back on. So to do this, you kind of have to hold this up or just have it hanging off the edge of your desk. Then you get the three little um, pieces down here to line up with the, there's the little holes down here. Okay, get those to line up and then swing it, swing it back over, just like this, and push that to clip it into place. Make sure all the clips go in. This clip looks like, oh, oops, I accidentally bent that clip a little bit. There we go. So get all of those back into place. All right, and then we'll take this cover, get that back on slightly over to this side, okay? Get that back on, make sure it's kind of flush. You can check the um, the gap over here on the front. Make sure the gap here is good and on the other side as well. All right, then you hold that down and while you're holding it down, slide it over. Very straightforward. And then we'll just put the screws back in and that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, share my channel with others. If this video helped you save a bunch of money, please consider throwing some my way so that I can continue to do these. And I will see you all in the next one. All right, see you later. Bye, let's drop this.